Now I'd like to show you another way to import data, and this time from DVD or video material. To do this, I have modified my EDIUS layout somewhat, and first of all up here in my bin window, I'd like to create a new folder into which my DVD or video data will be imported. How to do this we have already seen, via right mouse clicking in the folder where the new folder should be created. In my case this is the root folder, option, new folder, and I will call the folder DVD import. And when this is activated, then my relevant data will appear in this folder. The import process takes place once again via the source browser, in much the same manner as the AVCHD and Audio CD import processes. So I'll change to the source browser, and here is the section for Audio CD and DVD, and with DVD they also mean Video DVD. If I expand this folder, then I can see two items for two disk drives, and in drive D I can see that there is a video DVD. And if I select this item, this can take a while, but the contents will be read by EDIUS and shown here to the right. I'll zoom this section somewhat, and we can see that there are four clips available, all however without a preview. This lack of preview is specific to DVD video as opposed to AVCHD import which shows a preview. Also, the labelling of these individual clips is not very specific, and hence it is harder for me to relate to them compared to AVCHD import. Alas, I don't have the option of a context menu using right mouse click here, and a preview isn't available. However, this isn't so bad, I can if I wish import my material from DVD, and import everything, and then after having done so, delete the files I don't need. In any case, it's still a nice way to import video material from a DVD. If I wish to import the second clip here, then I can select it here, and call up the add and transfer to bin function via right mouse click, or of course from the button here. If I call this function now, then please note that we get a message again saying that a job is taking place in the background. So something is being transferred in the background. And if I click on this button here, show background job, to call up the details, then I can see how this transfer is proceeding. After the procedure is finished, I can change to the bin, and in my DVD import folder, I can see the recently imported clips, and I can of course view them from here. And if I double click them, I can play them in the player by clicking the play button. So that is how simple it is to import something from DVD. If I have imported my video clips of which some will not be needed, I can of course delete them from the hard disk using the methods we have previously seen. Simply right mouse click on the relevant clip and choose the option delete file, and in so doing I can make sure my hard disk space is not used up with clips I will not need.